hi uh, today we are going to learn about uh, informatica and uh, first thing i'd like before we start informatica training first we need to know when this informatica will come into life when we are going to use in real time environment this informatica that is the first thing we are going to learn here for that like uh, i'll tell like uh, we, we have seen so many of our friends will be working on to the data warehousing tools like uh, they said that like we are working on to the data warehousing projects on to the informatica etl and all first we need to understand when this data warehousing comes into life in data warehousing where the ctl process and an informatica what is an etl process and what is an informatica when it will come into life for that we will have few questions first thing is like what is data warehousing and why it will be used where it will be used what is etl process why it needed when it comes into life and next what is informatica main use of informatica imported objects in informatica so when when we are going to learn these things in informatica first we need to understand when obi uh, when informatica will comes into life when informatica will comes into life so here uh, before we deal with that first we need to understand uh, if i give you a simple word saying that uh, i am warehouse we say a place where we store different types of iron materials so we can say a place where we store different types of iron materials means like we'll be collecting different types of materials different with different sizes and shapes and we'll be storing at one place that one we call it as a warehouse next in the same way if i am giving you a word saying that data warehouse it's a simple way to understand when this data warehouse comes into life for this we can say a database where we store different types of data we can say a place where we store different types of data simply saying that from the above example a place where we store different types of iron materials here we can say a play a database is nothing but where we store different types of data coming to this space like when we are working with the wa data warehouse here we are saying different types of store wa where we store different types of data how a data differentiated in real time that might be one question like uh, you might be asking me saying that we can see iron materials into different sizes and volumes how a data can be differentiated in real time so is that like uh, uh, is there any difference like when when it comes to a data can be how a data can be differentiated coming to iron we can see different sizes and volumes we can see material difference and all we can compare that is of different types how a data can be differentiated in real time for that we can give a best example let us take an organization abc abc is one organization which got established in 
till 2015 let us say we'll say general will be having 25 years of history for that organization in this organization abc it will have different departments like hr is one department and sales is one department marketing is one department this different departments will have a data right of its own like hr department will have hr related data which deals with employee salaries employees gross everything and so we call that one as hr type data we can differentiate this one as hr type data and when it comes to the sales sales department will deal with uh, sales related information like uh, what are the products were manufactured in abc organization that uh, how about the sales and how the sales are going all the data will be available in the sales department so we can say sales department as a sales sales type data and marketing we can say marketing type so we have here different types of data available here from different departments so you see three different departments having three different types of data when it comes to storage where we store data we will store a data into database let us assume when the organization started in 1990 hr type data started loading into oracle database and sales type data started loading into sql server and finance type data started loading into db2 it's an ibm database sql server is microsoft sql server oracle is the oracle database let us assume here the three different types of databases started loading with three different types of data in real time when it comes to organization this organization started in 1990 till this year 2015 every year every day whenever data started loading into the database over this period of 25 years we can assume very bulk content of data started adding into each and every database all database got added with bulk content of data so let us assume database started growing its volume of data day by day in which they might have useful data as well as unuseful data so we have two different types of data in real time that is useful data as well as unuseful data so in this bulk content of data if an organization wants to maintain it, it might become for the organization difficult to maintain with three different types of databases and they want to maintain one single database with different types of data inside it so if we maintain one single database or multiple databases with different types of data inside it and that data is a clean data and a perfect data then we can call that one as a warehouse database in real time so how they want to do in real time is let us assume now we have hr under oracle database and sales under sql server marketing under db2 now they want to move all the data that means hr sales marketing
into a single database that is Oracle or DB2 whatever it is whatever it is they want to move it under a single database so that this kind of database can be called as an warehouse database in real time now all the data is available under a single database or a multiple databases as per the requirement they can move that data and they can place the data and they can view the data in a single table so when when they are doing that like uh, what happens in real time is like uh, they can make the data available under a single database so that data will be used for their business purpose like if they want to analyze the data from past five years let us assume uh, this abg is an uh, organization which do automobile manufacturing it's an automobile manufacturing company so when they want to do it like they want to uh, perform this like uh, uh, they want to take care of uh, they want to take care like uh, they want to perform in such a way uh, this organization data they want to use it for their uh, future business enhancement saying that So here they want to make this data usage in such a way they want to make it available for their future usage that means if it is an Toyota manufacturing company and they want this manufacturing company data that means a company sales president or someone wants to view the data for a particular model SUV or a uh, sedan model and how the data is available that means how the sales is available over a period of last six months then it should be easy for him to retrieve the data from an cleansed database than from an uncleansed database so it will be data warehouse is the environment which maintains the historic data where a customer can use the data for multiple purposes like he can use the data for making use of the data he can take a quick business decisions in real time so whenever there is a requirement for doing this process from transferring data from one single database to multiple databases then in real time ETL process comes into life how exactly ETL process will work in real time is extract data from single or multiple databases 
एंड ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन में फिल्टरिंग क्लिनसिंग कैलकुलेटिंग और सम sort of information like some sort of applying for loss or something else everything will be done through transformation and loading loading data into single or multiple databases this is how we can do the extraction transformation loading here in real time so once the ctl process how the ctl process will do let us assume we have hr under oracle database and we have sales under sql server and we have marketing under db now we will apply our nation will apply an etl process here it will do extraction transformation and loading will be done to the hr sales marketing everything under oracle database or other databases there is no restriction like we can we can do the etl transformation e extraction transformation loading and we can make the data available under one single database or multiple databases this is how we can do it in real time this is how we can make the things happen in real time